Hi, welcome to my channel, KC. That's me, Carrie Chug, the Sledge Storyteller. And I'm here to talk about the wonderful world of storytelling and to open up discussion about how we can tell the best stories we possibly can. So, my first ever video after starting this channel was my first trailer to Sledge Number no. 1. That was on January 3rd of this year. Then it was January 18th that I put out my first storytelling discussion video about plot. And admittedly, that about all, um, you know, that and all subsequent discussion videos had amateur production value. So now with improved sound and editing, I decided to redo as many of my previous videos as I feel is appropriate, starting with plot. Though, you know, this this is the last weekend before Thanksgiving, and so next week will be Thanksgiving. So Christmas season essentially starts at the end of next week. So I'll be devoting uh, my uh, the next videos to to the season, but here we're, we're talking about plot. You know, you have Google dictionaries. Uh, their definition of plot is the main events of a play, novel, movie, or similar work devised and presented by the writer as an interrelated sequence. So, besides the definition, we need to get a grasp on the purpose of plot. The plot of a story is your roadmap to determine the best proverbial or sometimes literal journey for the characters in the story in a way that it will engage the audience. Now, there's no perfect formula for forming a plot because so many plots are different and so many stories need a, a different approach to make them work. But there's a basic formula to start with, and that formula begins with exposition. Exposition is how you introduce the story which means introducing the audience to the characters and establishing the setting and the time. One frequently mentioned device within the writing community about the exposition stage is the hook. That's giving the audience something that will grab their attention and they'll get them to stick with the story. And uh, Let me sample the beginning of Sledge Number 1. And I'll, I'm, I'm going to start out simple. Uh, that's how I traditionally do when it comes to introducing the character. So here... You know, you learn the hero's real name. He initially says, my name is Carl Eisenberg. And this is while, while Carl suits up for the very first time with ponderous interior dialogue. So he says, it's time. Move on to see if all this hard work and preparation has paid off. Preparing, studying, training. Then I invite intrigue. And the only question is... Then the big reveal in the splash page. How long before Tony corners me about it? Typical cop, glad he's a good friend. So here we get a feel for the hero's independent personality that he has a cop friend named Tony, who obviously will meet eventually, and we have an, uh, we anticipate he'll have issues with Carl's decision to fight crime this way. And uh, there may be some curiosity as to what Carl looks like unmasked, since that's so discreet there. Again, if you're using the hook method, your focus is to invite intrigue. It could be a character's shock over what he or she has just seen with a you know close up to their face. You know, they, uh, their their mouth is suddenly dropped right there, and that forces us to turn the page to find out just what caused that shock. It could be about what's behind the door just uh, getting opened. Essentially, um, start with something that spurs the audience to internally ask a question. Move on. Rising action. Basically, getting the action going that establishes conflict within the plot and keeps the conflict going. Think about Star Wars A New Hope. Here we learn that rising action doesn't necessarily have to start after exposition. After that initial rolling narrative ends, we see the very small blockade runner ship fly over our heads. Well, that's what it feels like when you see that on the screen, followed by the gigantic Star Destroyer and they're exchanging laser fire. Uh, all that before the Star Destroyer traps the blockade runner in its undercarriage. All that before we meet the introductory characters R2-D2 and C-3PO. And we move on to Climax. That's a high impact event that comes into where the protagonist faces a conflict. Um, back to Star Wars. Here, Luke goes into a battle against the Empire while taking on the challenge of understanding and mastering the Force. Then, falling action. 
uh, you wrap up the action so uh, Luke's Death Star battle and uh, destruction uh, we, that plays out then finally resolution sometimes called epilogue here you tie up all loose ends uh, Luke has just triumphed and reunites with his friends and celebrates the victory and he, he and Han Solo are the recipients of medals for their bravery poor Chewbacca now, any creative writing class that you might attend, they'll give you this outline if you hadn't already. But basically, you know, those are the rules. But the more you construct stories, the more you'll find your own ways of adapting the process to, uh, to something less rigidly structured. You just master the rules before you break them. At the same time, one formula I have come to prefer uh, was well explained by Carl Barks, who created the well-known Scrooge McDuck for Disney. Uh, in a 1975 interview with, uh, uh, the interviewer's name was Donald Alt, A-U-L-T, he said, we always try to get a good, interesting, climactic situation and then find a reason for that situation. It was a way of making stories to find a good, big, climactic gag, a very interesting situation, then build everything up to that. Pretty much what I picked up on as uh as I've been developing as a writer, that my basic strategy has become to figure out a basic premise to determine how it should end and figure out the key scenes, both dramatic and action packed and figure out the best way to tr transition those scenes without missing the opportunity to give the characters dimension uh, in any of the scenes. You know, even if it feels mundane, uh, what you're going to end up with. Uh, in the transition scenes, there's plenty of opportunity to give them layers there. And if you're just having the characters explain the, the needed details, the scenes feel transactional rather than transitional. But going into depth on that veers from uh, plot to characters. And something I want to elaborate on in another video. Sometime we'll get into that again. But that's my inside on plot. Agree? Disagree? Something I left out? Please comment below. Thanks for watching. The link to order sludge number one is uh, in the, uh, below the description down there, or you can order it on Kindle. Let's all look for civility amid all the bad news out there about the pandemic and follow the precautions that have been given to us. Play it smart. Everyone be safe and God bless.